for their YouTube. Uh, Omega Apex 128 here. Just kind of doing a quick update. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's been some time and everything, and I've been pretty busy doing all kinds of other things as far as work is concerned, and uh, Josh's vlog and everything, but uh, figured I'd go ahead and give you a little bit of an update here on what we have going on as far as the Nintoaster goes, because I know I haven't done anything there for a while, but let's go ahead and just take a quick look anyway. And, uh, okay. So there it is right now anyway, just kind of in the building stage. See, everything is gonna getting fit in there and everything. This is the video wire here. Um, we got the um, cartridge connector port all epoxied in there. It's kind of hard to see, but it's in there. Um, pretty solid anyway. Um, the uh, voltage regulator, we're gonna be working on that here. Uh, shortly anyway we went ahead and uh, with the, the with the front anyway we actually we used the same dial but we've actually replaced it with a potentiometer for the LEDs for whenever we get those so uh, that's actually pretty exciting the circuit board is fit in there pretty snug it was definitely a tight fit but it's gonna work um, so to just come over here really quick there's still the a matter of the uh, reset button which we have salvaged out um, so yeah we'll get to that um, Got a couple diagrams all drawn up here. Uh, where's the where's the power supply that I was working on? Give me one second here. Let me see if I can scrounge it up. Where the hell did it go? Hang on one second here for me. Sorry about the crudity of the video, but I am doing this pretty quick. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Um, this was an old cell phone charger that I had laying around. See, we uh, well, this was the cell phone char charger anyway. This was um. Um, this was what plugged into the wall right here, and sorry, this is kind of hard to do with one hand. Um, we took an old, just an old, uh, I don't know, an extra plug that I had laying around and, you know, put the small end on it so that way we don't have to deal with the big bulky DC AC adapter, whatever. But this is going to be mounted in here, and, uh, the switch is going to be right in there, so that way when it comes down, see that, it just powers on like that, and then when it's released, it'll... You know, it's just a push button momentary switch. So um, that's going to be soldered in there. We're going to get some uh, neodymium magnets to hold this down because the the old um, the old way it works with a lot of toasters now. I didn't realize it was the way that was done with a lot of the newer toasters. Was um, it's actually held down by an electromagnet that's powered by the source. So I was thinking about maybe rewiring and putting the uh, electromagnet in line with the uh, with the new plug there, but. I don't know, that seems a little complicated for what it's worth. But uh, anyway, that's uh, pretty much all the more that we've got going on right now with the Nintoaster project. Um, not a whole lot else at the moment, but uh, just stay tuned to the channel. And we're doing lots of new and exciting things, doing a little bit of experimentation as far as like, um, like possibly doing a vlog in 3D. Um, so that's just kind of an experiment that we're working on anyway, just trying to see if you know it's even possible to do. Um, with the technology that I have anyway, but I don't, I've got a good feeling. But um, other than that, stay tuned, keep playing video games, and I'll see you next time.